myself Trohi Delal. Hello everyone. Myself Trohi Delal. I'm an undergraduate computer science student at the North Cape University in domain of data science and artificial intelligence. In this module, we'll study about Python data types. So let's begin. In programming, data type is, is an important concept. Variables can store data of different types and different types can do different things. Python has following built-in data types like integer, float, string, boolean, and complex number. Let's start with integer. Integer contains positive and negative whole numbers without fraction or decimal part. In Python, there is no limit how long an integer can be. Like in various other languages such as C++ and Java, there is a certain range of integers which can be stored in the integer data type. But in Python, this is not the case. We can store any in integer value in this data type. Let us take few examples. Consider a variable a and let's store a value 102 to variable a. Now, to check the data type of a, we'll use a Python built-in function called type. The syntax of this function is type and in bracket the variable name for example now we'll be checking for a so type a has returned us an int as output this signifies that very data type of variable a is integer let's take an another example consider a variable b assign some value for example 1 0 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 to variable b now let's check type of variable b using type function again it's an integer taking one more example consider a variable c and this time we'll assign sum of a and b to our variable c let's execute this we'll print the sum that is this now let's check the data type of our variable c using built-in type function type c again it's an integer so let's take an exceptional case Cons let's consider a variable z and give it value 12 so let's check type of z it is an integer and if we consider a variable y with 12.0 and check type of 12 no, sorry sorry check the type of y it is a float numerically z and y are equal they have both have very numerical value as 12 but the data type of y which is 12.0 is not integer it is float we'll study float in the next part of this video so our next data type is float it is a real number with floating point representation and a float data type is specified with a decimal point so let's consider a few examples let's assume a variable a and give it some value for example 123.58 now let's check the type of variable a python type function and it returns float this signifies that the variable a is of float data type considering some more examples a variable b assigned with value 1458.2050 Let's execute this type B let's float let's take a variable C assign it with product of A and B let's print C and check the data type of C its float so here the number of 
decimal points after the decimal are many if we want to print only up to two decimal points we can use the this method we'll use modulus dot to f dot to f signifies that we want to print two decimal points after the decimal and our variable modulus c percentage sign is called as modulus so you can see our variable c has been printed only up to two decimal points that is 180204.97 let's try this concept with some other example consider a variable p assigned with value 102.5647 now we have to print variable p up to two decimal points so we'll use print function inside pre function modulus dot 2f which mean up to two decimal points then modulus variable name that is p let's print this we'll get 102.56 let's take this example and we'll print this time up to three decimal points so print quotes modulus dot 3f then variable name that is modulus p and it's 102.565 this is a way to print float number as per our requirement let's consider one more example take a variable l give it some value like 12.456789 and now we have to print up to four variables so print function quotes modulus dot 4f then the modulus sign and the variable name so the output is 12.4568 that is up to four decimal points so that was all about float coming to the next data type we have in this module Hello guys, how are you all? Myself, Rohit Dalal. I am the instructor for the day for the topic variables. So till now, in this course, you have covered uh, integer data type and float data type. If you have any of your queries regarding these two, please comment in the chat box and I'll be happy to answer that. So I guess no comments coming. Further in this module, we will be covering other data types like strings, complex number. So we'll be asking doubts regarding that later. If you have any doubts from float and integer, please write in the comment box below. There is a question, what is the difference between integer and a float? See, if I explain in the terms of Python, integer is only the whole number. And if anything has something after decimal point, that comes under float. Python, it will not compare its numerical value. For example, I'll take example if x is an integer. So x will have any value 11, 12, 13, 14. And if that variable is given a value like 11.0, that will come under float. So the key difference is if a variable is having any value after float or any value after decimal that comes under float. Minus 98876.546. Yes, it will be a float, but there comes a concept of signed and unsigned float, like uh, to include the negative value, but yes, it will come under float.
great thanks thank you thank you for the compliment so i guess no doubt so let's begin with the other data types executed next is if we want to print something in double quotes like this so to do that we'll take another variable by we'll inside single quotes we'll enter our text that is double quotes and then python shift plus enter and let's print by to check our results and that is this so now let's try something more we'll take a variable this is python and we'll take a variable z assign its warriors let's execute this and we'll do something called string concatenation that means adding two string let me show you with the example we'll take a string s and in that we'll do y plus z let's execute this print s we have printed python warriors oh Y was in quotes, so let's edit this Y. Make it simple. This double quotes. Execute this. Execute this. Execute this. Python warriors. So what basically has happened here? We have taken a variable Y. There was a string Python in that variable. Then we have taken a variable Z. There was a string warriors in stored in variable Z. And we have concatenated those things. That is added one behind the other. This S is equal to Y plus Z. Then we have printed S. In order to get a space here, we'll do one thing. We'll put an extra space in here. And then execute, execute and Python warriors. Let's take one more example of string concatenation. Let's take a variable A, give it anything like Python, then one space after Python, then a variable B, then we'll give it is, then a variable C Python is what should I write? Is is best then in D we'll do language. So let's do string concatenation of this. Like, let me try. Can we do this in print command as well? Let me check. A plus B plus C plus D. Yes. So what we have done here is we have taken independent variables A, B, C, D, assigned them some strings like Python is A, is B, best C language D and in this line we have concatenated those strings and printed that so Python is best language our next data type is boolean let's begin with it so our next data type is boolean this data type is used to store one of two built-in values that is true or false it is mostly used in conditional statements or situations where we have to work with conditions 
let's take an example consider a variable a let's give it a value true and then check the type of variable using type built-in function it's returning true same way we can take another variable and assign it false sorry if false then use it. type function the basic use of the boolean statement is in conditional statements like let me show you example we'll study conditional statements in later modules but let me give you a basic example there is a if condition and here we are checking comparing two numbers 10 10 equal to 5 so in this case if 10 equal to 5 if this condition within the bracket is true this condition if this condition in the bracket is true then the compiler then it will return true and the first statement will be executed and if just this will be done in true true case and if the compiler returns false then the second statement or the else statement will be executed that is else however we don't use brackets in python this was just to explain it like if this condition is satisfied then true is returned and this the first bracket is solved if the result of this condition is false then the else part is solved this is somewhere we use boolean data type our next data type is complex numbers a number which has both real and imaginary part is a complex number and the representation of complex number is real part plus imaginary part with j <laughs> let's take an example to variable a with the complex number like 3 plus 4 eight. we'll take another let's check the type of this using written type function complex let's take another complex number b 4 plus 6j and check in its type that's also complex we can even add two complex number easily like c that is a plus b The real part is added to the real part and the complex number is added to the and the imaginary part is added to the imaginary part let's check the type of c it's also a complex number so these were all the basic data types which are built in in python hope you like the module thank you